G'day viewers, this is Troy from Troy's Usual Arts Channel. Doing some further assembly work on the Nipkoff disc in its enclosure. I've, um, I've added the milk bottle pieces for the light diffusers to the scanning areas and I had to re-glue the, um, the shaft um, hole because of the plastic support piece because it came out when I was pushing the Nepkov disc onto the spindle so that's going to dry up again um, so yep we've got that and the as mentioned got the pulley cog on there and I've now I've did some slight um, re-drilling of the holes in the Nepkov disc to make sure all the bits of plastic is out of it and um, I've done that and I've um, now glued the Nipkoff disc to the spindle so it's now sitting inside its enclosure and um, yeah over I'm going to put up to the light and um, spin the disc and you'll see that you'll have three scanning sections of, of um, scanning area just need to somehow get position it so just work this mess out of the way not easy working in a messy environment. You can never keep the bloody place clean for some reason. No matter how hard I try, but anyhow. So, I start spinning the disc and. So, you'll have. Um, so, for the horizontal scan, you've got your. Three standards of scan. And for the vertical section, you've also got your three standards of scan as seen. Spin it fast enough, you'll have a rectangular area of picture. Now, um, so yeah, this is my latest video on this project. It's, this project's really starting to take shape and I'm quite happy about that. Next part of the job will be to get these LED banks um, mounted in a, a correct distance away from the diffusers and securely mounted onto the back of the scanning areas and correctly positioned so that the that the spirals or holes go over the light areas perfectly and then after that um, add the video modulator driver circuit and then start doing some testing and see how well this receiver actually works Anyhow, this is Troy from the Troy's Visual Arts Channel, signing out.